Okay. I think I can hear you now. Can you speak again? Anyone? Hello? Hi, Hello. sir. Okay. How about my voice? Is this uh is my is my voice audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, nice. Okay, so yung discuss ko today is yung derivative, yung delta method. Kasi um although in the coming topics sa differential calculus we will not be using the delta method pero you need to know how the formulas how we come up with the formulas na ginagamit natin in finding for the derivatives of the different types of equations or the different types of functions okay so basically kumbaga yung delta method amo yung sinisiring na tinalamban na solution okay so as i have said uh, what i'm going to discuss today is about the derivative Okay, so yung derivative, um, it can be defined as the slope of of a line, di ba? the slope of the curve on a single point. Pero kung line lang, kung linear lang siya, the slope of the line, di ba? So we can say that the, the first derivative, okay, this is denoted kasi, di ba? The derivative of y with respect to x is denoted by this, ano, by this one. Okay, dy over dx is the derivative of y with respect to x. This is actually the slope of the line at a single point. Okay, this is the slope of the line. Okay, now since slope man siya, di ba, uh, we, can de we define the slope as m. This is equal to um, ano ba? y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Di ba? Yun yung definition ng slope natin for a linear equation. Now, for a linear line, say for example, you have a rectangular coordinate system and you have a line. Then you select two points, two points on the line. Okay, so this is your one and this is your two. Of course, your one and two has coordinates. Let's name the coordinates as uh, for, F, for point one, this is x1, y1. And for point two, this is x2, y2. Now, if you want to get the, the slope, Diba? The slope is just the ratio between the y, yun na nga, ito this one, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over y sub x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So this one, this is your um, y sub 2 minus y sub 1. And this one right here, this distance, yun na yung x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, so yung slope yung pinakukuha. Diba? The ratio lang yan ng this quantity, this two quantity, this one and this one. Okay. Now, for a linear line, you can just select any point. Then makukuha mo yung slope. Diba? You can, this is actually, this can be defined. Kasi diba, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, that is the change in y over yung x sub 2 naman minus x sub 1. This is the change in x make it change in y over change in x. Kasi di ba, the original value of y, say for example, this is your x sub 1, this is your x sub 1, then, para makuha mo yung value ng x sub 2, you, you need to to add this value, yung x sub 2 minus x sub 1, which is, which is the change in y. If we name this as the change in x, and this one as the change in y, okay. say for example, this is the change in x, and this one, this is the change in y. Okay. You can therefore um, get the value for x sub 2 and y sub 2. If this is change in x, your x sub 2 will be equal to x sub 1 plus change in x, diba? x sub 1 plus change in x, so you're, that's your x sub 2. Your y is the dependent variable. Whatever is the change in x, there will be a corresponding change in y. Okay? Yung, uh, if you have a linear line, your y there is the dependent variable and your x is the independent variable. If there is, whenever there is a change in x, there will be a corresponding val uh, corresponding change in y. Okay, so, yun. Your slope will be the change in y divided by the change in x. Or that is just uh, the value, the final value minus the initial value or y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. For a linear line, you could choose any points on the line, diba? For a linear line, because um, since yung changes na, the change in y with respect to the change in x, the, the, the relationship between the changes is just linear. 
So you could just, uh, in solving for the value of the slope, you can just um, select any points on the line, any two points on the line to solve for the M. Now, iba it um, case, if we have um, a curve, say for example, you have, uh, this is your curve. Okay? Iba yung case pag curve. Kasi, if you choose any points on the on the curve, say for example, you choose this point and this point. If you want to determine the slope between those two points, di ba? If you connect the two points, this will be parang ganan. Okay. If you get the slope between the two points that you have identified, yung makukuha mo is not actually the slope of the of the curve. Yung makukuha mo is actually the slope of this line. The line that connects the two points. Di ba? Yan. Yan yung makukuha mo. So what what we what we do, what we do here is uh, as you can see, di ba? In this example, okay, in this figure, the change in x, this one, this is the change in x. Just like this one, this is the change in x. The difference between the axis of point 0.1 and point 0.2, that's the change in x. So for this one, this is your change in x. As you can see, the change in x here is very large, okay? Large yung change ng x niya. And of course, since large yung change ng x, there will be a corresponding change in y, which is also... Uh, very large. Diba? Diba nakikita mo? That's why what we do here, para makuha, ma, makuha natin it, ano, it slope on a curve, is we pina, pinapaliit natin yung change ng x. Pinapaliit natin yung distance between the two points. Okay? Let me draw again. Uh, say for example, you have a, a rectangular coordinate system. Then say for example, this is your curve. So, kanina, yung pinili nating points are too far apart from each other. Diba? So, if we if we choose a point, uh, say for example, this point, parang medyo mas haranihera haranihera sa isa. Okay, say for example, this one. Now, this will be your, ano, your, your line. The line that connects the two points that you have chosen. Now, this time, in compared to to the ano, kanina, to the change in x. Baka nina, and yung change of x mo is this one. In compare this to this change in x here, of course, yung change of x mo dito is lower, I mean, lesser than the change in x here kanina. Okay? And of course, the corresponding change in y will also be um, lesser. This is the change in x, y. And if we try to to, ano, to make the two points infinitesimally, uh, the word there is, uh, the distance between the two points is infinitesimal distance. When we say infinitesimal distance, it's as if approaching to zero na yung distance ng dalawang points. Okay? Kasi if, if we try to draw another curve, say the, the same curve pa rin, this is the, the curve. Okay, then we want to determine the the slope, okay? The slope of the, of, of the curve at this point, di ba? Parang pipili tayo ng another point which is infinitesimally, ah, the distance between the original point is infinitesimal. Ibig sabihin, the distance between the two points na pipiliin natin is parang a very, very small distance which is approaching to zero. If that happens, yung, yung madudraw mo na ano, Na, na line between the two points if you try to connect the two points yung yung ma, madudraw mo na line is actually the line that is tangent to the curve okay and if you get the slope of that line that's actually the slope of the curve on that point okay kasi if you are dealing with curves iba-iba yung slope niya at any points kasi nag curve na siya diba at this point at say, for example, at this point right here, iba yung slope niya. At this point, iba yung slope niya. So if we want to determine the slope at a certain point, we just need to to get another point where in the distance of that second point to the first point is infinitesimal distance. Ibig sabihin, the, the, the change in x is very, very small, almost equal to zero. 
approaching to zero. So yun, that is the principle here in in ano in derivative. So in if you are trying to solve for the slope of the of the of the line, not, that's ju not just the line, also the curve. That is actually the the change in x divided by the change in ah, sorry the change in y divided by the change in x. Provided, however, that the change in x is almost equal to zero. Nakano? Kasi kung deringan equal to zero, deringan ni very small number, it imo change in x. It imo mananabo di the 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 line that will connect the two points, such as this one, is not the tangent line on the curve, diba? Kasi the slope daw of the slope of a curve is defined by the the slope of the tangent line on that point. Uh, example, if you have if you have a curve, this is the curve, or okay, if you have a curve, okay, say this is your curve, parang parabola. Okay, so if you have a curve. If you want to get the 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 slope of the curve at say for example this point, kukuha mo let iya ko an, kukuha mo let iya tangent line. Okay, the slope of the tangent line on that point on the curve will be the slope of the curve on that point only. Okay, on that point only, kasi iba na iba na yung tangent line at this point. Ano yung iya tangent line? So iba na iya slope. Nagiiba iba. Okay, so what we need to do is to get a very very small distance between the two points in fact approaching to zero so that okay kun approaching to zero the, the two points are almost on each other's na diba so kun kun very small at error distance it nananabo naging so ganahin they have two points here so the 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 line that can be drawn between the two points is almost equal to the tangent itself the tangent uh, the tangent line on the curve on that point. Okay, so again, to solve for the slope, that is just the change in y divided by the change in x, provided that the change in x is almost equal to zero, approaching to zero, sha. Okay, and in fact, in in your calculator techniques, did it calculator new? You can solve for the for the first derivative. Okay, for the first derivative, just by using this principle. Okay, example. Example, ha? if you have, um, say, uh, let's let's have a curve, say y, this is equal to y, is equal to um, x squared plus 1. Example lang. Okay. And we want to determine the slope of the line at, say, um, x is equal to 2, for example. x is equal to 2. We, we, need, we are to determine the slope of the line when x is equal to 2. Okay, again, sabi, that, sabi here, the slope down, or this is the dy over dx. Diba? dy over dx is just equal to the change in x, uh, change in y divided by the change in x. Okay? Change in y divided by the change in x, provided that the change in x is almost equal to zero. Okay, so your second value for y is this one, 2.0001 squared plus 1. Okay, this is for your first value for, I mean, the final value for y, that is when x is equal to 2.0001, minus the original value of y, that is when x is equal to 2. So this will be 2 squared plus 1. Okay? If you try to solve this one, okay, ano ba yung, ano, yung result? Okay, get your calculator, please. If you have your calculator. 4, sir, 4.0001. Yung ano, yung total na. Yes, sir. Yung total na. Okay, yung dy over dx na yan. Hello? Yes, sir. 2.0001 squared plus 1. Okay, let me try to solve it also. So that your classmate can see. This is 2 squared plus 1. So the, the result is 4.0001, diba? Let me put it here. This is 4.0001. Zero, 1. This is almost equal to 4. Ibig sabihin yung slope mo is equal to 4. I'm discrepancy 0 0.0001 because in the, uh, we carry very small value of change in x. Diba? If you try to uh, if you try to add more zero here, syempre yung, yung number mo dito, yung m mo, will approach 4. Okay? So to improve the accuracy, um, we will use 
a very small number than this one para maging almost equal to 4 na siya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, the change in x is almost equal to 0, approaching to 0 siya. Okay? That is the principle here in delta method. Okay. Let us... Okay. Siyempre, x will change to x magiging, ano siya, magiging x plus delta x. Kasi, nag-change siya, di ba? So, your second value of x will be x plus delta x. Okay? And, of course, your y will also change. This will be um, y plus delta y. Okay? Nagkakamayadahin change and name x and y. So, we will substitute this here to the following, to the equation equal to, this will be the, equal to uh, your x. You will substitute the value of x by x plus delta x. So, this will be x plus delta x squared plus 1. Yan. Okay, now, on the left side of the equation, ultimately, we should come up with this quantity, delta y over delta x. Delta, ibig sabihin lang ito niya is change. So, we will get rid of y in the left side of the equation. As you can see here, we will transpose it to the right side of the equation. So, this will be equal to um, x plus delta x squared plus 1 minus y. Diba? Okay. And this is your delta y. Now, I will substitute the value of y. We have the value of y here. Diba? Y is equal to x squared plus 1. So, we'll substitute it here. So, this will be x plus delta x squared plus 1 minus we have there the value of y is x squared plus 1. Okay? Yan. So we'll have there the delta y. Then you have to expand the equation yung x plus delta x squared. This will be x squared plus 2x delta x. Is that right? Plus um, delta x squared. Is this right? Can you see it? Yes, sir. x plus 2x yes, delta x plus delta x squared plus 1 minus x squared minus 1. Okay? Now, you can cancel out yung x squared. You can cancel out yung 1. So, your new equation will be delta y. This is equal to 2x delta x. What else? Plus, um, we have there the delta x squared. Okay? This is your delta x squared. Now, take note, we, have, we should come up with this quantity. Delta x over delta y. So we will both we will divide both sides of the equation by delta by delta x for the change in x. So this will be 2x delta x plus delta x squared all over delta x. Diba? Yan. And if we try to to simplify this one, your delta y will be delta y over delta x will be kasi makakansal up yung isang delta x dyan, diba? So this will be 2x plus delta x. Is it right? 2x plus delta x. Diba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, you, we have the value of the delta x, uh, the, uh, delta y over delta x. This is the change of y over the change in x. Now, nayakan, if we want to get the dy over dx, dy over dx, okay, this is the slope which is equal to the dy over dx, your delta x should approach to 0. Your delta x should be almost equal to 0. The distance between the two x's should be infinitesimal. Okay? So this will be equal to, how do we how do we make it that your delta x will be almost equal to 0? Diba? Nag-study nag katahan limit. So I'm going to do it, gamit it limit. This will be equal to the limit Okay, the limit of delta y over delta x as the delta x approaches to zero. Diba? Yan. The limit of the delta y over the delta x as the um, delta x approaches y over delta x. We have here the value for the delta y and delta x. That is 2x plus delta x. So this will be 2x plus delta x yan. as delta x approaches to zero. Okay, since this is just, ano, algebraic lang naman siya, di ba? So, you can just immediately, ano, you can just immediately uh, substitute for the value of the delta x, di ba? Kung an, an emu function is just algebraic, then you are trying to solve for the limit of x as x approaches to something, you can directly substitute. So, this will be 2x plus 
zero, di ba? 2x plus zero kasi your delta x is zero, di ba? So 2x. So ibig sabihin, your m or should I say your dy over dx, which is actually the m, is actually equal to 2x. Okay? This is your answer. I mean, this is not the final answer. This is the equation that defines the dy over dx all throughout the curve. But since the question there is to solve for the slope for the m or the dy over dx when x is 2, you just need to substitute the value of x here. So this will be when x is 2, your dy over dx will therefore be 2 times 2. So this is equal to 4. So this is the result for. Okay. So we have here example number 2. Y is, uh, y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, if we try to uh, an, ano, ha, an, an principle and slope, the dy over dx. dy over dx, this is the slope, or sometimes this is noted as y prime. Okay? Slope, basta, slope nga ni m, di ba? Usually, kung linear, ang natin pag denote and slope is m. And that is dy over dx, or sometimes, itawag ka iya is the first derivative or the y prime. Okay? First derivative or y prime. Kasi kung y double prime, second derivative niya niya. Okay. This is just equal to, again, the change in y over the change in x. Okay. Where the change in x is almost equal to zero. Or you could you, you could say uh, this is y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Here, the change in x is x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Take note that the, 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 the two points here are the distance between the two points are infinitesimal infinitesimal distance. Okay, so dapat ang, del, ang change ng x mo is almost equal to zero. Or, uh, instead na x sub 2 minus x sub 1, you could write the, here delta x, basta to. Igam ni na lang, the delta x is almost equal to zero. So we can say your x sub 1 is 3 and your x sub 2 is equal to 3.000. Pat na 0, 1. Diba? Then you will have for x is equal to 3, you will have a corresponding value of y. Then for x is equal to 2, you will have another corresponding value of y. Diba? If we try to solve this two, what is the value of y when x is equal to 3? Okay? This will be, using your calculator, uh, when x is equal to 3, the value of your y is equal to 6. Okay? Let me put it here. This is equal to 6. Now, what is the value of your y when x is equal to 3.00001, diba? Kasi um, we are trying to solve for the change in value of y with due to the changes in x, diba? From 3, yung x naging 3.0001. Okay, so the value will be, your y will be 6.00, apat na 0, 4. So this will be 6.0004. Now, if you try to solve for the dy over dx, okay, so this will be your delta y, that is y sub 2 minus y sub 1, this will be 6.00 0 minus 6 all over. Take note, we already, you can immediately solve for the, the, the delta x, diba? the change in x. What's the difference between the two x's here? Diba? Of course, that is 0 0.0 1. Then you can solve for the value of, you can approximate the dy over dx when x is equal to 3. So what is that? That is um, 6 point apat na 0, 4, minus 6, all over apat na 0, 1. The value is 4, di ba? Can you see it? Okay, so the value here is 4. Okay. Now, if you try to use the uh, delta method, the delta method is... You just need to change yung x at saka yung y into parang nag Yes? Ay ko po question. Um, yes. Um, an illustration for the dessert. Kung did did to han usa kaya no one kaya no 0 0.001 ang denominator for the dessert. And pwede mo i-repeat po. Ah, uh, come again? Where? Here? Oh boy, ito. Kaya, kaya na po, 0 0.001. Always po ba ito? Uh, because we are, I don't know, I'm just proving to you that when the delta x is almost equal to 0, yung value ng dy over dx mo, you can approximate. 
in uh, actually this is not part of the solution i'm just proving to you that when the delta x is approaching to zero you can solve for the value of the the slope the dy over dx so if you want through if, uh, okay uh, again uh, here kanina when the change in x uh, as you can see here when the change in x is 0, 0.0 apat na 0, 1 yung value ng m mo is 4.0001 diba if you try to put more zeros in the change in x, your m will be uh, most likely be equal to 4 na. Kasi um, if the change in x is almost equal to 0, yung, yung slope mo is ano, parang mas accurate. Ibig kong sabihin, if the change in x is, uh, is, la, ano ba, is mas maliit, if you want to improve this solution, kailangan mo lang lagyan ng additional na zero. But your calculator will not be able to solve it if there are many zeros na. ba? So, in-approximate lang natin kung ano value ng m when x is equal to 2 by the principle that the change, uh, the slope is just equal to the change in y over the change in x. Provided that the change in x is almost equal to zero, kaya nga 0 0.001. If you want to improve the, the, the value of your m, lagyan mo pa ng maraming zero. Okay? And actually, this is not part of the solution. I'm just proving to you that when the change in x is approaching to zero, makukuha mo yung value ng dy over dx. Okay? Ang mga yun may ikuan, dedi. Ang mga yun, 0, 0.1 dedi, sir, kay kuan kay yun minus mo lang x. X2, X2, X2 and X1. Tanggal na ito. Tanggal na ito. Diba? Diba? Change in X is X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Just like change in Y is Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. O, tapos, amo bagan ko sa may angat tuluatan number 1 kay bagan ini nga yung 0. Uh, ini nga point 0, 0, 0, 1. Uh, approximate nila yun yung nga yung gagamit ko sa inga. Yung titikaran ni nga 0. Come again? Like, this is just... Uh, this is just my assumption, okay? Uh, take note, I'm just proving to you that when x, the change in x is approaching to zero, you can solve for the value of dy over dx. And, okay. And in fact, ang way to need principle did it, ano, hit aton uh, delta method, what we call the delta method. Okay, so what we, uh, I'm now solving for the delta method, ha? Okay. For the delta method, you change the value of your x to x plus delta x because my changes and your y of course when there is a change in x change y okay when there is a change in x there will be a corresponding change in y and that is represented by the delta y okay so you will substitute x or uh, we will substitute x plus delta x for x and y for delta y plus delta y for y so your equation your original equation will now be, your y will be um, y plus delta y. This is equal to, yung x mo naman is x plus delta x squared minus minus 2. Take note, yung x mo is x plus delta x. What else? Plus 3. Diba? Okay, next naman. Uh, before we, ano, let us, ano lang muna, let us expand Okay, yung, yung right side of the equation. Okay, so this will be x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 2x minus 2 delta x plus 3. Any question? Nakuha ba kung paano yung expand? Tapos naman kami algebra, di ba? So makukuha it niyo. Expand ko lang. Raise to the power of 2x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Minus, you, sub, you distribute this one, 2x minus 2x, del, 2 delta x plus 3. Okay? Now, next step, dapat, on the left side of the equation, you only have the delta y. Kasi eventually, you have to solve for the delta x, delta y pala, delta y over delta x. You change of y over change in x. Okay, so you have to get rid of y. So this will be x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 2x, minus 2 delta x, plus 3. Then, yung y mo, since plus, it transpose mo to the right side of the equation, this will be negative y. But your value for y is, you have there the value for y, 
x squared minus 2x plus 3. Okay? So we will put here x squared minus 2x plus 3. Okay? Yeah. Then, um, this will be delta x, uh, delta y pala. Delta y, uh, x squared plus, I mean, you can immediately, ano naman, can immediately subtract. Ah. Yung x squared mo, and this is x squared, will uh, cancel out. Kasi x squared minus x squared is zero. So, maka-cancel out siya, di ba? What else? Yung 2x mo here, and this negative 2x will also cancel out. Negative 2x minus negative 2x. So, maka-cancel out yung negative 2x. And also this 3. 3 minus 3, maka-cancel out yung magiging zero. So, you will be left out with delta y. This is equal to 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 2 delta x. Right? Oh, okay. Delta y is equal to 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 2 delta x. Okay. Now, uh, as I have said, you have to come up with this quantity. So, you have to divide, you have to divide both sides of the equation by delta x. So this will be 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 2 delta x. You, uh, What we did here is we just divide both sides of the equation by delta x. Then you will have delta y over delta x. This is equal to, makancel out yung delta x niya. So you'll be left with 2x. And here, makancel out yung isang delta x. You'll be left out with... Uh, Delta x, di ba? Delta x. Asya ba? Mm -hmm. Minus. Um, Makakancel out yung isa, uh, yung delta x, you will be left out with 2. Two. Okay? Okay, so this is your equation for the change in y over the change in x. Okay, sabi, dayakan, dapat ang change in x or the delta x is almost equal to zero. And that is your dy over dx. This is equal to, how do we do that? We apply the limit. Okay, the limit of the change in y over the change in x as change in x approaches to zero. Okay? So, substitute the value of delta x, delta y over delta x. This is the limit of the value for delta y over delta x is right here. Okay? That is... 2x plus delta x minus 2 mm. as delta x approaches to 0. This is your dy over dx. Now take note that the function here sa my limit is just algebraic. So you can immediately substitute for the value of delta x. Diba? We, tapos naman kita han limit, han dison han limit. So you know now how to find the limit of a certain function as as the independent the dependent uh, the independent variable approaches to zero as for this case as the delta x approaches to zero so this will be 2x plus zero di ko na ilalagay kasi plus zero man minus two this is now your dy over dx okay this one right here is the equation okay this is the equation of the slope okay the the relationship between the slope and the x Okay, so if you substitute for the value of x, okay, hi nan. If you substitute for the value of x, which is 3, we are hoping to get the value of 4. Okay, so this will be 2 times 3 minus 2. This is equal to 2 times 3 is 6 minus 2. This is indeed 4. Sabihin, the dy over dx talaga hit aton ano? The dy over dx hit aton, um, yun nga equation. In a, yes, in the equation is indeed equal to 4. Okay? Yeah, so, yun. That is equal to 4. Now, let, let me talk about this one. Inilaanay, ha? This one, this can be written as, sometimes kasi hit exam na sugad, y prime is equal to 2x minus 2. y prime, that's just mean dy over dx or the first derivative or the slope. Okay? Okay, as you can see, this this equation here is um tawag ni ini equation is linear diba kita this is linear diba y prime 
but your independent variable is x and your dependent variable is y prime. Kanina, another equation is this one. Okay, this is your equation. This equation uh, is quadratic. The degree, of the, the degree of the function is 2. Diba? And the independent variable here is x. Well, the dependent variable is y. Okay, so, ano ba yung relationship it nera? Okay, yadi, this is the equation hand slope. Kanyan hi. Okay? Amo ito nito yung equation. Okay, so, for example... May that name equation na ang degree ng equation is 3. You should expect, okay, dapat mag-expect kang ang imo slope or the first derivative is the, the ano, the ano is curve, quadratic, okay? Kasi if the, that, that, that is x squared minus 2x plus 3. Y, x squared minus 2x plus 3, Okay? Ini niya, this is your original equation. This one, this is your first derivative. And the second derivative is defined by this one. Okay, so ini, this is the equation na magdidictate han imo ano? Han imo slope. Okay? This is the, the equation of the slope. Okay, so if you want to try to solve for the value of the slope at any x on the curve, you can solve using this formula. Okay, so, kung quadratic nga yung original equation, and imo y prime or the slope is linear. Kung cubic nga ni, ibig sabihin the, the exponent or the, the degree of the curve is 3, pagka dididihit imo y prime, you, you should expect that the degree of the curve is 2. Parang naiba na lang ito niya. Okay, so that's, uh, that's, that is uh, the principle for the delta method. Okay, pero... Uh, it delta method maybe magpasolve nga niya uh, one to two problem because as you can see maiha di ba maiha it ko an magiiha it pagsusolve it delta method okay kasi may dakita ko an may dakita may dakita shortcut method okay. discuss ko na lang seven pa man la kutub ano ang kita ng oras seven Yes, yes, sir. Uh, ben, ben po. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I continue at least mga 30 minutes lang? Okay, mga 7.30. Dismiss ko ka mo. Okay. So, another, uh, the shortcut method. Nasa gad ini. Okay. If you are given with um, uh, this one, this u raised to n. Okay. u raised to n, ha? The derivative of u raised to n. Ah, sorry. The, the derivative. Ah, yes. Derivative pala. The derivative of u raised to n with respect to x. See, for example, is equal to, ah, uh, paano ba? n, u raised to n minus 1, derivative of u with respect to x. This is the formula. The uh, derivative of u raised to n with respect to x is equal to n, u raised to n minus 1, du over dx. Oh, example. Uh, let, us, let us have this example. I, uh, on a line, single term lang muna. I lang get it multiple term. Single term la anay. Uh, for 2x, for x squared pala, for x squared. You have here the x squared. So your u is x squared. Your n, your u is x, your n is 2. So this is equal to, if you want to get the d dx squared over dx. Okay, ibig sabihin the derivative of x squared with respect to x. Or sometimes this is written as d over dx of x squared. Parihulay tera. Okay, so you have here the derivative of x squared over dx. So see this formula, this will be your n is 2. If you write here, if you write it here, this will be 2. And your u is x. Your n will be uh, mag-subtract kayo 1 from your n. This is n, which is 2. 2 minus 1. Divide, uh, multiplied by the derivative of u. Your u is x. dx over dx. dx over dx is 1. So this is 2x. 2x, diba? This is 2x. So we sabihin the the derivative of 
the derivative of x squared is just equal to 2x. Nakita niyo? Okay? As in formula, u raised to n is equal to n, u raised to n minus 1, derivative of u. Or uh, in other books, it ira pagsurat na, so God, derivative or d over dx of u raised to n is equal to n, u raised to n minus 1, derivative of u. Yan. This is your, this is the first formula that I introduced to you. Provided that your n is equal, is not equal to 1, ha? Your n should not be equal to 1. Kaya ano? Ah, uh, wait lang. Masiro man. Is it possible? Pwede. Pwede your n is equal to 1. This is not, oh, sorry, nainag to. Pwede. Pwede mag n is equal to 1. Pwede siya. Okay. So this is the formula. Let us have another example para ma, ma, ma reinforce it yung nababaruan. I think the the STEM students here are familiar with this formula. Pero for those who are ano, this is your chance to to hobble, to hobble. <laughs> okay, example. If we have say um ano ba? Uh, say 2x pananglitan. 2x then the whole of this, the whole of 2x, including 2. Okay. We have there the 2x raised to, say, uh, 4. Example. Uh, this time, take note, ha, your u is, bubutang ko, ha, your u is 2x and your n is 4. Take note, your n should be, uh, should not contain any variable. Dapat it imo n is constant. Yun lo good. We could put it here, your n should be constant. Pwede ya mag, mag 1, pwede evaluate n is 1, basta kailangan constant lang siya. Dari pwede nga dari constant. Kasi, ay sorry, iba na, iba na kasi ito kung dari constant, iba na hiya nga formula yung gagamit. Okay, we have here 2x raised to 4. So if you want to get the derivative of this one, this is just equal to, paano ba? This 4 will times be 2x raised your to the n, power of mm -hmm. Your n is 4. Okay, your n is 4. Multiplied by your u, which is 2x. Diba, n, that is your 4. Your u is 2x. Raised to n minus 1. Your n is 4. Subtract 1, then that is 3. Diba? Yan. Then multiply by the derivative of u. Yan ba yung u? 2x. Mm. So this is equal to, uh, let me try to simplify this one. This will be um, 4 later. Later ko exemplify. 4, 2x cubed. It yan hi. Derivative of 2x. Okay. If you are dealing with this, ano, with this, ano, with this type of, kanina kasi, um, exponential, uh, exponential, uh, power. Dari yeah, exponential. Power pala na kinataga inyo. How about for this one? This is a product, diba? Ano ba it? On it product. Derivative it product, nasa ring. Um, UV. Okay, so you have here the derivative of UV with respect to X, ha? D over DX of UV is, and this is equal to, ano ba? The first, kapatid ka mo, ha? The first factor. There are two factors kasi, U and V, diba? First factor and the second factor. Okay, uv. So this is equal to the derivative of uv with respect to x is equal to the first factor derivative of the second factor plus the second factor derivative of the first factor. Say that again. First factor derivative of the second factor plus the second factor derivative of the, se of the first factor. This is the general formula for itawagin na iya, derivative of product. Okay? Derivative of product. So, ano din naman, this is the derivative of power. Derivative of power. I think power. 
I could be wrong. Derivative of power. I think that's it. Okay, derivative of product. This is your formula. Okay, so mabalik kita nga di. You have you have this one. Derivative, derivative of two x. Masering kadi ni the derivative. Oops. This is you have here the two x. Derivative of two x. Alright, derivative with two x. So dah first prad ah first factor two. Derivative of the second factor x plus that. Second factor, derivative of the first factor, 2. Diba? Oh. Now, if you have a derivative of a constant, derivative of a constant, diba? This is 2. Derivative of constant is always equal to 0. zero. Okay? Derivative of constant, derivative of 4, derivative of 3, derivative of 2. Permitan here equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin, your d over dx here, uh, d over dx of 2x is just equal to 2x. This is equal to 2 dx over dx. Where dx over dx is equal to 1. So, your d over dx, your d over dx of 2x is just equal to 2. Yan. Okay? So, d over dx of 2x is 2. So, you can put right here, oh, it value nga yan is just 2. So, So this will be equal to, ano ba? Um, 4, this is 8x cubed, right? Asya ba? Correct me if I'm wrong. So this will be 64x cubed. This is equal to 4 times 8 times 2. 64x cubed, not 64x cubed. This is 64x cubed. So this is your value for the, ano? For the derivative, d over dx of 2x raised to 4. O, di ba? Ano na. Balik kita. Balik kitahan kung ano. Kung ano nga mo formula na kung nahatag na. The derivative of power, take note, um, your n should be constant. Okay? Then, the derivative of product, may da ba restriction din hit? Derivative of product. Waray, di ba? Even to tuloy factor, you can... Say, for example, tutulong a factor. You can just combine the first two as one factor and the second, the third one as the second factor. Say, for example, you have, you have, say, ang litan, you have there x minus 1 and x plus 1, tapos 2x minus 2. Okay, there, there, are, there are three factors. Ano? What you can do here is you combine the first two as the first factor and the third factor as the second factor. So now you have only two factors. Okay, or for the gap, adyan yung combine. Tapos adyan yung first factor. Then you can still use this formula. Bisan pa itong tutulong na factor. Bisan pa itong damo dida na factor. Okay? Tama ito niya. Derivative of product. And of course, the derivative of constant is equal to zero. Okay? Sara na kita. Ano pa it iba? You have the derivative of power. Derivative of product. Derivative of quotient, of course. May the derivative of quotient. Masa lang derivative of quotient. Derivative of u over v. Okay. Derivative of u over v. This is equal to this is equal to the denominator derivative of the numerator minus the numerator derivative of the denominator all over the denominator raised to 2. Can I to? Again? The, the denominator, derivative of the numerator minus the numerator, derivative of the denominator, or over, all over the, the denominator raised to 2. Okay? Or, pwede gihap, kung makalimot ka mo, pwede man, this can be written as d over dx, u raised to v, raised to uh, u times v raised to negative 1. Diba? Pwede ito niya. Then, if you apply the product formula, this will be, take it out, u derivative of v raised to 1 plus v raised to negative 1 derivative of u. This should to, uh, ini nga dudu ha, this two should have the same answer. Let us try. Let's say we have x plus 1 over x minus 1. We are trying to get for the derivative of this one. The over the x of x plus 1 over x, uh, x minus 2. Kana to, using the formula for the quotient lang muna. 
Okay, V, which is the denominator. Take that V is the denominator. We have here um, the V or the denominator. This will be X minus 1. Sinusundan ko lang ha. Derivative of the numerator. The numerator is X plus 1. Minus the numerator which is X plus 1. Derivative of the denominator. Sorry, na space. What's the denominator? X minus 1. All over. Square of the denominator. So this will be, ano ba yun hiya? Um, this will be x minus 1. Okay. Now, if you have a derivative like this, where is that? This one. This is your, so ni. Okay? If you have a derivative of x squared minus 2x plus 3, this is just equal to, it's as if you can distribute and ito nga d over dx. Magiging d over dx of x squared minus, kaya minus dida. Minus d over dx of 2x plus d over dx of 3. Kita na good niyo. If you try to apply the formula, this will be 2x minus 2 plus 0. This is 2x minus 2, which is equal to this one, 2x minus 2, diba? The first prime. So, ano kung gusto ipakita alam nila is this one. Kung composed of many terms na, you just you just can distribute, apply the distributive property here. Diba? You can just distribute d over dx. So, magiging yan nila. Same with dd. So, this will be, uh, paano ba? d over dx of x multiplied by, oh, no, no, not multiplied. Itang ko didahin parenthesis. Or bracket. Plus, kaya ano plus? Kaya plus didi? Kaya man, plus. Plus, the derivative of 1. Okay? Nakuha niyo? Nakuha ba? Okay. Yung mga ni-isolate ini, uh, i-substitute niyo yan nga da, uh, i-distribute niyo nga da. So, this will be d over dx of x plus d over dx of 1. Takay, ini niya is a factor in the numerator. They are treated as one. That's why ginbutang ko yun bracket. Okay, two factors pa rin. This one and this one. There are two factors pa rin sa first term. Sa numerator. Okay, nagets ba? Okay, ano gin include, gin include sa bracket? Anyone? Any questions? Okay. Okay, no question. Okay, so this is x plus 1. What's the derivative of that? Include ko again it with a bracket. D over dx of x minus d over dx of 1. Oh, all over x minus 1 squared. So this is, let's try to simplify. This is x minus 1. Dx over dx. Diba dx over dx any? That is 1. I'm not going to that. 1 plus derivative of constant. 1 is constant. That is 0. Minus. Kapuyon ko lang x plus 1. Okay. D of dx over dx, that is 1 again, minus derivative of 1, that is 0. Diba? So, this is minus 0. All over x plus x minus 1, pala, x minus 1 squared. Okay, so simplify. This will be x minus 1 minus x plus 1 all over x minus 1 squared. Diba? And if we try to simplify this further, x minus x will be 0, 1 minus 1, negative 1 minus 1 will be negative 2. So this is negative 2 over x minus 1 squared. This is your answer. The derivative of x plus 1 over x minus 1. Chaba, ano kong hinatag? x plus 1, okay. Any question? May pakiana? Waray? Okay, um, please do not give this as your final answer yet. Did it add on pieces? Because you can still expand, okay? Dapat it iwihataga ako na answer is expanded form na and in lowest term, okay? Dapat naka lowest term tapos expanded form. Wait, mapakean na later on. Mas tagi niya ako na dapat expanded and in lowest term. So this will be x squared minus 2x plus 1. This is your final answer. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, if may daliwat, sir, nga higher power liwat. Expand pa ba? Like, for example, 5 or 4. Ito na exponent. 
Kedi ba nagyakan ka gusto mo um oh, expanded. Uh, Kung may dani mo x plus 1 raised to 1 million, i-expand lagi hap. Gusto ko expanded. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tige. Okay. Let, let us have another approach to this problem. d over dx of x plus 1 over x minus 1. Iba na yakan ako, this can be written as the d over dx or the derivative of x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 raised to negative 1. Okay. So, derivative of product na. Ano to? Derivative of product, first factor, derivative of the second factor, plus the second factor, derivative of the first factor. What's the first factor again? X plus 1, diba? Okay, so this is X plus 1. Power, diba? Power. This is power. Derivative of power. And that is negative 1. Okay. Anaton, isurat ko rin power ha para makita lang niyo. d over dx of u raised to n is equal to n u raised to n minus 1 du over dx or d, d over dx of u. Kasi it formulate power. Isurat ko rin ha. Uh, erase ko lang muna para masundan niyo. Yung copy ko ang x plus 1. Then derivative of power kita din he. The d over dx of x minus 1 raised to negative 1. The power is your n is negative 1. Isulod na parenthesis ay pag minus 1 kay magiging mag, magsisiparate hira, magiging term siya. Take note that negative 1 is a factor. Okay? N is negative 1. So you have here the negative 1. Your U is X minus 1 raised to, raised to what? N minus 1. So a negative 1 minus 1 magiging negative 2. Diba? Derivative of derivative of what? What's your U again? X minus 1. Diba? Asya na? Nakuha? Nakuha ba? Nasundan ba? Hello? Hello, sir. Anyone? Nasundan ba or waray? Wait lang, sir. Na-observe pa. Okay, ano nakita? Plus. Plus. Ano nakita? Plus. Um, of course, you have to copy that. X minus 1 raised to negative 1. Diri man hiya, give the derivative. Diba? We are not trying to solve for the derivative of X minus 1 raised to negative 1 here. So, copy lang. Derivative of this one. You can distribute, diba? Naya kan kita, diba? We can distribute. Okay, masaring. Derivative of x plus derivative of 1. Dari kung isusurat kay derivative of 1 is 0, man. Diba? Derivative of constant is 0. Di kung isusurat ang derivative of 1. Yan, ala. Yan. Okay, dili kita. x plus 1. Butang ko dili ang negative 1. Negative na taki bubutang dila x minus 1 raised to negative 2, this can be written as x minus 1 raised to 2. A denominator. Do you agree? Algebra. Diba? Algebra lait. Hello? Yes, sir. x plus 1, x minus 1 raised to 2. Adi in here, ha? Adi in here. Ang ito nito yada. Then, ano? Distribute, diba? Derivative of x. What's the derivative of x again? dx over dx is 1. What's the derivative of negative 1? Since this is constant, zero. 0. So this will zero. be 1 minus 0, one. diba? Hmm. Plus, we have here x plus 1 raised to negative 1. Ah, x minus 1 raised to negative 1. So you can write here um, 1 over x minus 1 raised to 1, diba? Or di ko na ibubutang it 1. Diriman natin usually ibubutang it exponent na 1. Then, the derivative of x here, the derivative of x is 1. Diba? Di ko na bubutang. Okay? You might be confused with this one. Wait lang. Let me erase. Dito niya negative 1. Negative 1 ba? Dito, diba? 1, ah, x minus 1 raised to negative 1 can be rewritten as 1 over x minus 1 raised to 1. Di natin ibubutang di di ano 1 kay 1 man niya. Okay? So, this one, amo niya at yan niya. CD over dx of x is just 1. Okay. Now, simplify further. This is equal to um, magiging negative x plus 1 all over x minus 1 squared plus 1 over x minus 1. Combine. Combine the two. LCD is x minus 1 squared. Oh, in close to parenthesis, ha? Don't forget. x plus 1 plus 
this will be x minus 1. Diba? X, ano sa gamayan? x minus 1 squared divided by x minus 1 is x minus 1. Times 1 is x minus 1 lang we have. Diba? Then, here. then if you try to simplify this further, this will be um, negative x minus 1 plus x minus 1 over uh, expand. This is x squared minus 2x plus 1. Again. Erase. Napulog ko rin pag erase X squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay? And this is equal to, paano ba? X minus x, negative, negative 1 minus 1, that is negative 2 over x squared minus 2x plus 1. This is the answer. Is that the same with the answer kanina? It's right here, di ba? Negative 2 all over x squared minus 2x plus 1. Same lang, hera. Di ba? O, pwede, pwede hain approach it, imo gagamito. Basta, okay, di ka lang mag, ano, di ka lang mag-violate in law. Usually, mga student, di na nagsasayupit law of exponent. Dapat, di rin ka magsasayupit law of exponent. Or sometimes, di dit pag-group. So, galit hain na ito. So, galitahan, ah, di, di, di. Ini, ini. Sometimes, uh, nag-distribute an student, Diri nira king bubutangan hin parenthesis. Diri nagbubutang hin grouping symbol. So ma kita ana gud niyo kun waray grouping symbol. Waray nga grouping symbol, ira kita. Ah. Waray nga grouping symbol. This one right here, let me encircle this one. Waray nga grouping symbol, ini hiya is treated as one term. Ini hiya is treated as another term. Which is not the case because because this one is uh, is treated as a whole. Parang, di ba? Adi man hiya, tika man hiya didi. Kung sa man hiya nga factor, dari man hiya bulag. Dapat, may dati mo didi grouping symbol. Amo ah, itong didait ko anit mga student. It weakness. Adi didi da it usual nga nagsasayop it student. Itong didi da. And sometimes didi power, ah, uh, didahit ko an, law of exponent. Okay? Review your law of exponent. Any question so far? It's already 7.30. So, recap lang, ha? Let me put it here. Okay. Uh, derivative of power, power, um, d over dx of u raised to n is equal to n, u raised to n minus 1, d over dx of u. Okay? Then another one is uh, product. Okay, product is d over dx of uv. This is equal to first first factor u, derivative of the second factor v, plus the second factor, derivative of the first factor. Yan, product and of course the quotient. U, U, O, diba? Asya tak spelling, quotient. This is d over dx of u over v. This is equal to ano ba? Uh, v derivative of u minus u derivative of v all over the denominator squared. Okay, v squared. Quotient. And of course, hindi ko na sulat yung constant. Derivative of constant, this is equal to zero. So, ito na lahat. Uh, radical d over dx of the square root of u. This is equal to derivative of the radicand, derivative of the radicand, the radicand. Manong naman kayo, di ba? If you have the radical, this is, the total of this is called the radical, okay? And the u is called the radicand, okay? Adi, ano ba tiya? Radical sign, okay? Derivative of the radicand, oh, derivative of u, all over twice the radical. Matali ila. And then again, okay, you can rewrite this as d over dx of u raised to one half. You can apply the power formula here. Diba? Uh, yes, the power formula. Pabalik, balik. Actually, pabalik, balik. They are parang related, somewhat related to each other. Parang nagkuan kuan pa lang dida. Nagpabalik, balik. Okay, for now, didala na kita. Next time, we will discuss the, ano, the derivative of trigonometric functions. Any questions so far? May pakiana? Why? Okay.
Okay, sige. Um, our next meeting will be on Friday. Prepare for a graded recitation. Okay? Since damo ka mo, diri ka mo tanan matatawag, it aton bubuhaton, mag-aassign ako hin ano, mag-aassign ako hin, um, tawag nini, in function nga iyog di derive. Of course, din hilaan na kita mga algebraic function. Din hilaan na kita. I mean, uh, diri algebraic, pwede di ang quotient, radical. Basta din hilaan na hindi din he. Makapag din discuss yan. Then, um, you will create a video of yourself, video of yourself, solving the ano, and explaining. Okay, parang habang habang nagsusolve ka, nag-explain ka kung paano ni mo ginsusolve. Okay, e may video din sarili. Kamunit bahala kung ano, how will you do it? Tapos, i-send ni yung upload di yun ha Google, ano, ha Google Classroom. Maghihi mo ako. Ang paghataghan, ano, ang paghataghan, ang function na iyo, ig, ano, i-solve, will be on Friday. Then, may dalaki hap kita, class 8 Friday. Diba? Mag-class 8 Friday, then at the same time, ihatag, ihatag ko ano, ang iyo, ang iyo, solve Any question so far? Okay na ba? Excuse Maripo me, pa? sir. Yes. You got... Ang gabi kaya pag sa... Ano daw? It, it got learned, sir. Ang gabi kaya pag sa... It deadline han and iyo ko an and grade recitation. Yes, yes sa naman yung ito. Oo, pwede man gapit day lang ah. How kay diri man it pa iha? Usa man lang ito niya nga function. Parang video man lang habang nagsusolve ka. Bisan diri na edited or what? Bisan diri na diri na niwig edit. Bisan magkamali ka mo. Uh, basta imo gin read imo nga how gin correct diba sometimes nagsusolve ka nga ni first time imo pag solve nagkakamali ka but then you realize na mali ka within the video okay lang basta ma solve nimo okay you, you don't have to magdamo ka take it pag video basta maano mo lang ma explain mo lang okay so it aton classic kasi is alas alas 3 ba ano aton class alas 3 diba alas 3:30 Friday. 3.30, I think. So you can submit it before 12 midnight. Okay. Any other question? Kailangan ba same ng Geneva mo na ano, sir? Um, formula. What do you mean? Uh, same sa formula na linista mo, sir. Or pwede kaya kami mag ano? Improvise in formulas. No, I want to see the step-by-step -step process. Okay? Same and in fact, uh, during your explanation, you have to say kung anong formula you can gagamit. Uh, by using the power formula, we will solve for the derivative of this one. I want to I want to see if uh, you learn something. Okay, so dapat it i explanation di pag explain i i upod niyo it i ko an i upod it i explanation kung ano ang formula ni yung gamit any other questions right sige so, tumray na pa kay ana 